background subtraction, also known as foreground detection, is a technique in the fields of image processing and computer vision wherein an image's foreground is extracted for further processing. Generally an image's regions of interest are objects in its foreground. After the stage of image pre-processing object localization is required which may make use of this technique. Background subtraction is a widely used approach for detecting moving objects in videos from static cameras. The rationale in the approach is that of detecting the moving objects from the difference between the current frame and a reference frame, often called a Euro or background image a Euro, or a Euro or background model a Euro. Background subtraction is mostly done if the image in question is a part of a video stream. Background subtraction provides important cues for numerous applications in computer vision, for example surveillance tracking or human poses estimation. However, Background subtraction is generally based on a static background hypothesis which is often not applicable in real environments. With indoor scenes, reflections or animated images on screens lead to background changes. In the same way, due to wind, rain or illumination changes brought by weather, static backgrounds methods have difficulties with outdoor scenes. Conventional approaches, a robust background subtraction algorithm should be able to handle lighting changes, repetitive motions from clutter and long-term scene changes. The following analyzers make use of the function of V, X, Y, T, as a video sequence where T is the time dimension, X and Y are the pixel location variables. For example V, 1, 2, 3, is the pixel intensity at pixel location of the image at T equals 3 in the video sequence. Equals using frame differencing equals, a motion detection algorithm begins with the segmentation part where foreground or moving objects are segmented from the background. The simplest way to implement this is to take an image as background and take the frames obtained at the time t, denoted by i, t, to compare with a background image denoted by b. Here using simple arithmetic calculations, we can segment out the object simply by using image subtraction technique of computer vision meaning for each pixels in i, t. Take the pixel value denoted by p, i, t, and subtract it with the corresponding pixels at the same position on the background image denoted as p, b. In mathematical equation, it is written as the background is assumed to be the frame at time t. This difference image would only show some intensity for the pixel locations which have changed in the two frames. Though we have seemingly removed the background, this approach will only work for cases where all foreground pixels are moving and all background pixels are static. A threshold threshold is put on this difference image to improve the subtraction. This means that the difference image's pixels intensities are thresholded or filtered on the basis of value of threshold. The accuracy of this approach is dependent on speed of movement in the scene. Faster movements may require higher thresholds. Equals mean filter equals, for calculating the image containing only the background, a series of preceding images are averaged. For calculating the background image at the instant t, where n is the number of preceding images taken for averaging. This averaging refers to averaging corresponding pixels in the given images. n would depend on the video speed and the amount of movement in the video. After calculating the background b, x, y, T, we can then subtract it from the image B, X, Y, T, at time T equals T and threshold it. Thus the foreground is where TH is threshold. Similarly we can also use median instead of mean in the above calculation of B, X, Y, T. Usage of global and time independent thresholds may limit the accuracy of the above two approaches. Equals running Gaussian average equals, for this method. René L. propose fitting a Gaussian probabilistic density function on the most recent frames. In order to avoid fitting the PDF from scratch at each new frame time, a running average is computed. The PDF of every pixel is characterized by mean and variance. The following is a possible initial condition. Some default value, where is the value of the pixel's intensity at time? In order to initialize variance, we can, for example, Use the variance in X and Y from a small window around each pixel. Note that background may change over time. To accommodate for the change, at every frame, 
every pixel's mean and variance must be updated, as follows. Where determines the size of the temporal window that is used to fit the PDF and is the Euclidean distance between the mean and the value of the pixel. We can now classify a pixel as background if its current intensity lies within some confidence interval of its distribution's mean, where the parameter is a free threshold. A larger value for allows for more dynamic background, while a smaller increases the probability of a transition from background to foreground due to more subtle changes. In a variant of the method, a pixel's distribution is only updated if it is classified as background. This is to prevent newly introduced foreground objects from fading into the background. The update formula for the mean is changed accordingly. Where when is considered foreground and otherwise. So when, that is, when the pixel is detected as foreground, the mean will stay the same. As a result, a pixel, once it has become foreground, can only become background again when the intensity value gets close to what it was before turning foreground. This method, however, has several issues, it only works if all pixels are initially background pixels. Also, it cannot cope with gradual background changes, if a pixel is categorized as foreground for a too long period of time, the background intensity in that location might have changed. As a result, once the foreground object is gone, the new background intensity might not be recognized as such anymore. Equals background mixture models equals mixture of Gaussians method approaches by modeling each pixel as a mixture of Gaussians and uses an online approximation to update the model. In this technique, it is assumed that every pixel's intensity values in the video can be modeled using a Gaussian mixture model. A simple heuristic determines which intensities are most probably of the background. Then the pixels which do not match to these are called the foreground pixels. Foreground pixels are grouped using 2D connected component analysis. At any time t, a particular pixel's history is. This history is modeled by a mixture of k Gaussian distributions. Where an online k-means approximation is used to update the Gaussians. Numerous improvements of this original method developed by Storfer and Grimson have been proposed and a complete survey can be found in Baumann's AL. A standard method of adaptive backgrounding is averaging the images over time, creating a background approximation which is similar to the current static scene except where motion occur. Surveys Several surveys which concern categories or subcategories of models can be found as follows. MOG background subtraction. First, each pixel is characterized by its intensity in RGB color space. Then probability of observing the current pixel is given by the following formula in the multidimensional case. Where the parameters are K is the number of distributions, I per mil is a weight associated to the if Gaussian at time t with mean a micron and standard deviation I pound. Once the parameters initialization is made, a first foreground detection can be made then the parameters are updated. The first B Gaussian distribution which exceeds the threshold T is retained for a background distribution. The other distributions are considered to represent a foreground distribution. Then, when the new frame in comes at times, a match test is made of each pixel. A pixel matches a Gaussian distribution if the Mahalanobis distance. Where K is a constant threshold equal to then, two cases can occur. Case 1, A match is found with one of the K Gaussians. For the matched component, the update is done as follows. Power and Scoonies, 3, use the same algorithm to segment the foreground of the image. The essential approximation to is given by Case 2, no match is found with any of the Gaussians. In this case, the least probable distribute ION is replaced with a new one with parameters. Once the parameter maintenance is made, foreground detection can be made and so on. Subspace learning background subtraction, statistical background subtraction, fuzzy background subtraction, RPCA background subtraction, traditional and recent approaches for background subtraction. Books, journals and workshops. Equals books equals, T. Baumanns, F. Porrick Lee, B. Hawflin, A. Vavand, Handbook on Background Modeling and Foreground Detection for Video Surveillance, Traditional and Recent Approaches. Implementations, Benchmarking and Evaluation, CRC Press, Taylor and Francis Group, 
June 2014. Equals journals equals T. Baumans, L. Davis, J. Gonzalez, M. Picardi, C. Shan. Special issue on background modeling for foreground detection in real world dynamic scenes. Special issue in machine vision and applications. July 2014. A. Vavant, L. Town, T. Chateau. Special section on background models comparison, computer vision and image understanding. CVIU 2014, May 2014. Equals workshops equals seen background modeling and initialization workshop in conjunction with ICIAP 2015. IEE on change detection workshop in conjunction with CVPR 2014. Workshop on background model challenges in conjunction with ACCV 2012. Resources, data sets and libraries. Equals websites equals background subtraction website. The subtraction website contains a comprehensive list of the references in the field, and links to available data sets and software. Equals data sets equals, change detection.net, background models challenge, Stuttgart artificial background subtraction data set, SBMI data set. Equals libraries equals, BGS library the Bergs library provides a C++ framework to perform background subtraction algorithms. The code works either on Windows or on Linux. Currently the library offers 29 BGS algorithms. LRS library, low rank and sparse tools for background modeling and subtraction in videos. The library provides a collection of low rank and sparse decomposition algorithms in MATLAB. The library was designed for motion segmentation in videos, but it can be also used or adapted for other computer vision problems. Currently the library contains a total of 64 matrix-based and tensor-based algorithms. The library was tested successfully in MATLAB at 2013b both x86 and x64 versions. OpenCV, the OpenCV library provides a number background foreground segmentation algorithms. Applications, video surveillance, optical motion capture, human-computer interaction, content-based video coding. See also, Vibe, PBAS, SOBS. References